What's going on, bloggers? Pete McPherson from Do You Even Blog here. So, I've been looking at sites like backlinko.com, Brian Dean, uh, my friend Mike's site, stupideasyseo.com, and they just have little fun sections of the page that help call out that content, to pay attention to it, keep readers engaged, that sort of stuff. And so, Today I'm going to walk you through a very simple way using only HTML and CSS, a tiny bit of it, to add callout boxes to your content. This helps things pop out, uh, makes readers pay attention to it. You don't need any extra plugins. You don't need to know JavaScript. You don't need to really even know how to code HTML and CSS. I'm going to give you everything you need and they're super fun, super easy, customizable, the whole deal. Let's go. Okay, so I have gotten a little test draft blog post here on my WordPress site. Uh, here's the preview, here's what it looks like. There's my title, here's some content. I love pizza. What if I wanted to wrap this right here, just this little facts, frequently asked question section in a nice little box. That's what I'm gonna show you how to do. So there are two components of this here. I'll show this in the YouTube description below this video, by the way. There's only two parts you need to do. One, you need to add a little bit of custom CSS in your custom CSS place, wherever you do that. I'll show you where I do it in WordPress and where I think everybody should do it who uses WordPress, but alas, wherever you have CSS, you need to create a custom class. You see that little dot, name this. I can make this anything I want. You're gonna add this to your CSS and then customize it. I'll show you how to do that as well. And then once you have that down, you can add this, a little div wrapper is what I'm gonna call this, to any content ever. Like you can reuse it over and over again for different blog posts as long as you have like this class defined in your custom CSS. So let's add that right now. Here's where I do it. Customize, I'm on WordPress. I use the WordPress customizer for everything. You click this at the very bottom of it, you will see additional CSS. Now, when I click this right here, you can see a bunch of stuff because I have a lot of custom CSS. But at the very bottom, you'll see this, look, right there. I have dot boxed and then I have my brackets and I have my custom CSS, some of which is mandatory for my little box, some of which isn't. I'll go over that in just a second. Uh, so I've added this, I called it boxed. I just made something up. Again, you can call this just about anything. And then I hit save or publish or whatever. That's it. So I already have my CSS in here, additional CSS. Now I can start wrapping stuff, quote unquote, right? So I'm gonna go back to my blog post. I'm gonna go in the HTML editor, the text editor. Now I can edit HTML and I'm going to do this. Hang on, let me uh, make these bold div class equals some quotations, whatever I named my little custom CSS class, uh, and then the content, and then I'm gonna wrap it with an end uh, div element. So if you don't know CSS and HTML, you might not exactly know kind of what these brackets are, the syntax, that sort of stuff. That's fine. You really don't need to know that much of it other than what I'm telling you right now. So let's see, where's my facts? There's my H3, I'm gonna put another line. You could literally do it on the same line if you wanted to, right here, just start typing. I'm gonna keep it a little bit clearer. I'm gonna put it on this next line and put div. There's my div. I'm gonna go back in here and add class equals. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, quotation marks in there and then I'm gonna do boxed. No period, right here on the HTML. It's only a period boxed, dot boxed in the CSS. Again, you can name that kind of whatever, but as long as it matches, and then I will end it. So I want to include this H3 thing and this sentence right here, but that's all. So I'm gonna end it right here, slash div, and then I'm going to save it and preview it. And we'll see what that looks like. I'm going to refresh this and I should have a nice little box. There it is right there. That's pretty. So what can you customize here? You'll notice the background color, first of all. What if we wanted to change that uh, from what I have? I'm at material design. Let's say I really like orange. Orange is pretty good. Let's go with this one. So I want that to be the background. I'm going to copy this little color code right here and come back and put it into my CSS. Some of these are customizable, some of these are not. Border left, you could actually just delete this and that would get rid of this like little border right here, but I like the way it looks, so I'm gonna keep it. You don't have to have that. Margins are what keep this in, uh, not indexed, um, indented a little bit, right? 
you'll see it's 25 pixels at the very bottom. Uh, I got a little bit of padding. That's actually what keeps it uh, indented. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, sorry, the padding keeps it indented. The background color, you can literally make anything you want. I could do that the orange. I could also change this one up here to be a different color orange. I can make it wider by increasing this little pixel thing, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I'm actually not gonna do that because that's an ugly color orange. I'm not gonna change anything, but that's literally it. That's it, that's the whole tutorial. Wait, did I actually change anything? No, I did not, okay. Um, yeah, that's it. This is what it's gonna look like. You can put images in here. You can do everything in this HTML as long as you wrap it in this div class and then whatever you have that you defined on your custom CSS here. And yeah, that's it. That includes the entire lesson. I think this is really fun. And especially when you have long form content, you want to be able to break it up. Uh, images is a great way to do that. But what if you don't have an image or something? <laughs> what if you just want to break up something different in the actual content, in the actual text, in the actual writing? You can do that with these little boxes. Um, it doesn't slow down your site at all. Uh, it looks great. It doesn't require anything. It's mobile friendly, by the way. It just adapts to the same content area. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't even worry about it. It just, it works on mobile. Uh, assuming your theme is mobile friendly, by the way. <laughs> it works with whatever your theme does. It doesn't change anything. Uh, yeah, and it looks pretty. You can switch around the colors to suit your desire. You can put the border on the right side if you want it, or the top. You'll notice on my CSS, it says border left. You can do border top, right, bottom, border dash bottom, all sorts of stuff you can kind of play around with. But I would leave the overflow, I would leave the padding, and I would leave the margin just to keep things... Uh, keep it the same shape <laughs> that's what i would say and again change the background change the border you can change the name if you need to don't forget the dot right here in the css and then yeah whenever you want to use it you just wrap it wrap whatever content you want to in this div with that same class defined right there and that's it that's it good luck blogging i hope you enjoyed this little bitty quick tutorial i want to see some call outs in your blog content coming forward and Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoy stuff like this. And if you don't enjoy stuff like this, why do you watch it this far through the video? I don't understand. If you're watching this far through the video, I would hope that you would want to see more. So please subscribe on YouTube. Uh, see you guys later. Have a wonderful blogging day.